Hey guys, how's it going? So I just wanted to share with you something that my dad saw a little while back. And this is pertaining to the times that we're living in now. So we're in this year, 2020. And if you know what this is, um, then I'm really proud of you because it's a really terrible drawing of it. But this is supposed to be a baboon. I know, it's a terrible drawing. But what this symbolizes is the church broken. The church is going to split in these last days. A mul some of the people that have been in the church, or at least goats among the sheep, they will be shown, and they will leave the church. Now, the reason why I have this year highlighted, 2027, is because I suspect this is the year that Jesus will return. Now, if you don't know what this is, this is a goat. Right here is a shotgun symbolizing the battle of Gog and Magog. We're going to see a lot of things come to pass in between these two years. We're going to see sons and daughters prophesying. We're going to see a great outpouring. We're going to see... In fact, I think I know um, what the baboon is symbolizing. It's symbolizing the two sides. One that is all for the great outpouring will be used by Jesus in the great outpouring. And those that will stand outside of it and be all like, oh, well, good for you, I'm glad you're being used. They will just watch it. They will stand from a distance and miss out on the great anointing that Jesus has for them. So, I believe that that's what it is. In 2027, we'll see those that have joined the enemy's side, the goats. They will get ready for battle and ambush Israel. And that's a whole another video for another day. They, you've, often re you've often heard in the Bible that Jesus will look on his left and you will see the goats and he will say to them, Depart from me, I never knew you. And what are goats? They're smelly, they're stinky. They do every vile thing that you could ever imagine. And so that's why Jesus refers to them as goats. But the sheep are his children, the people that are truly following Jesus. He's the good shepherd. So those people are his true children. And so 